Are you in a dry and weary place where there seems to be no water? Come to the living well that will never run dry, Jesus. Top of the morning to you. When we look at the concept of hiding place, resting place, and the secret place of God, it's all about getting away with the lover of our soul to connect. Just like vacations with spouses serve to provide refreshment by getting away from all of our usual noises of life into a place where we can have time to listen, share, and just enjoy each other's company. We need this same kind of experience with our God, away from all the distractions, putting ourselves in position to listen, receive, and obey God's Word. Psalm 91.1 says that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Where is the secret place and how do you get there? It's in God's presence away from the trouble of the world. Psalm 31.20 You shall hide me in the secret place of your presence from the pride of man, keeping us safe in your, in your dwelling from accusing tongues. Psalm 32.7 You are my hiding place. You keep me from trouble by surrounding me with songs of deliverance. How do we get there? Find a place that's out of the way of distractions and then visit at a time when you're by yourself. Focus on God by praying and reading God's Word and begin walking with God in the Spirit. After all, Romans 8.1 says, Those who walk in the flesh cannot be in Christ Jesus. Die to self and we will be hidden with Christ in God. Colossians 3.3 Once in, do as Zephaniah says in chapter 1 verse 7, Be silent in the presence of the Lord. This breaks off our self-centered gaze and gets our attention onto Jesus carefully listening to a still small voice. Acts 3.19 says, Times of refreshing comes from the presence of the Lord. A word of encouragement. Whether we're walking around in, the life, in this life in dry places where there is no water, or we're in an oasis of life lacking nothing, it's good to get away with our Lord on a daily basis in the secret place. Just get humble before Him and desperate, and with an attitude described in Psalm 63, 1, You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. Have a great day.